Let's face it, horses in Star Stable are really expensive. Most of them will cost you around 30 bucks, which is kind of insane. I mean, okay, they are pretty, have good models, decent gates, and amazing code colors, but that's still a lot of money, especially if you're not the best at saving your star coins, in which case I really recommend checking out the video that I made a while ago. But anyway, today we're gonna take a look at top 10 cheapest Gen 3 horse breeds. As always, I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and now let's get into it! First thing that I just have to mention in this video are definitely horse discounts. They come every couple of months and what I'm talking about is basically the bazaar where Star Stable discounts many recent Gen 3 horses. Just a week or two ago, the horses that were discounted were the Gen 3 Lipizzaner, Morgan Frisian, and the Belgian, which was absolutely amazing. So the discounts occur during the bazaar events, and if you notice a bazaar happening in Moorland, it's definitely worth checking out the horses that SSO decided to discount. Additionally, there are retirement discounts for older horse breeds right before they're removed from the game. For example, now it's time for the Frisians to leave and there are only 300 star coins, though I believe they've been 300 star coins for quite a while. But still, if some breed is set to retire in, I don't know, a month, maybe more, Star Stable usually discounts it to around 250 to 300 star coins, so I think it's worth checking out if you want a memento for it. You can find all of these old horses at Marley's Vintage Barn, more specifically Ferdinand's Horse Market. And another way that horses get discounted is when Star Stable updates a specific horse breed. For example, when Star Stable introduces a Gen 3 Hanoverian, they will discount the Gen 2 version. So if you're looking for an affordable horse, consider opting for older options. And if you're hesitant to pay full price for the horse, definitely keep an eye out for discounts. They are less common than they used to be, but they still come about every three to four months, which is pretty nice. And you can go on a massive shopping spree when they do come. This list may be a little confusing, but here's the thing. There are so many horse breeds that cost the same exact amount of star coins. So instead of picking just one random breed for each spot, I've included all breeds that have the same price in star coins and if you're not sure what horse you should buy next, I made a video about top 10 horse breeds in Star Stable a while ago, so you should definitely go check it out if you're in a dilemma. But after this pretty long intro, I would believe let's just get into our list. All of the horses here cost 900 star coins and first up we have the Ardan. They're chunky draft horses that can be found in Veildale. They come in seven different coat color variation and they're perfect if you're looking for a cute horse with good animations. A funny thing about them is that they have pretty short legs so they're not as big as the other drafts. Talking about draft horses, next up is the Shire, which is one of my personal favorites. They have good gates, pretty model, and absolutely stunning coat colors. All of them look so good, I don't even know what to say. You can buy them over at Steve's and I just cannot recommend them enough. Then there's also the Mustang Horse, an extremely popular breed added last year. Have you ever wanted to own your very own spirit? Well, here's your chance. If you head over to the Starshine Ranch, you can get one for yourself. The Mustangs have some of the best coat colors in Star Stable. They just look so amazing and are overall one of the best breeds Star Stable has created thus far. Next up, we have the colorful Appaloosa. The same as with the Mustangs, you can find them over at the Starshine Ranch. And I swear they come in all shapes and colors. Well, maybe only colors. Lastly, for this price, you can also take this cute pony home. Haplingers are located at Marley's farm, and while they don't have much variation in regards to their coat colors, they are so cute, it's really hard to resist not getting them, and they're just perfect if you need a pony for champs or special races. <laughs> Far, far, far 
For 850 star coins, you can purchase one of the best horses in Star Stable, the Belgian Warmblood. They're located over at Golden Leaf Stables, and if you're looking for your perfect horse for role plays, this is the horse you want. They have amazing gates and animations, beautiful model, amazing coat colors, they're so shiny, and they're so muscular and lean, and they just look competition ready. Then we have another amazing breed, which is the American Paint Horse. These horses are located at the Starshine Ranch and they are a very western oriented breed. I believe they have three special like western gates, which honestly, if you're into western, that's amazing. They come in such beautiful coat colors. Oh my gosh, they're also colorful. I mean, I guess it's in the name American Paint Horse, but they have really good gates, beautiful model, and I just really Really recommend them. Next up we have the cute and fluffy Dartmoor Pony. They're actually a pretty recent addition to the game. They were added in September of 2023 and you can find them at Steve's farm. They have really basic bare bones coat colors but they're still so cute. They have really good animations so if you're looking for a competition pony look no further. Then we have the Ackle Tech which a lot of people hate but I don't really get. I mean they are really slow Slim, so I guess there's that and it seems like they don't have any mane if you just leave it at the one you get when you purchase them but honestly I just really like them they look like little deers and I love it they're sold at the Silverglade Equestrian Center and I really recommend them then we have the curly horse which is another not the most liked horse breed currently they're located at New Hillcrest and I'm gonna be honest, I'm also not the biggest fan of them. I feel like they're stiff and some of their animations just look a little weird, but they do have quite a few really pretty coat colors and they just look so fluffy. So if you want to role play in Dino Valley or, you know, during winter, they're definitely the perfect horse. Another controversial breed next up is the Morgan. They are located at Fir Grove and come in a wide variety of coat colors, but their whole existence in SSO is pretty controversial. You either hate them or you love them, but I feel like since the initial backflash when they were added, I believe people didn't really like their head shape and stuff like that. They were comparing them to Sid from Ice Age, which, which honestly I see it. I think they have become a pretty loved breed. So if you want to get one, especially one of the more colorful coats, I definitely recommend them because one thing that SSO does well is the coat colors. Wait, did I say that Starship was good at making coat colors? Should I take it back? Well, you should be the judge. If you want to get an English thoroughbred, head on over to Marley's. The English thoroughbreds are a sporty breed and I honestly like the coats, but before they were officially added to the game, the coats looked so unfinished. Star Stable put out the trailer, which they later on deleted, and the players basically forced SSO to go back and work more on the coats, which honestly I can't blame anyone because they were really bare bones, but now they are really pretty. So if you're looking for a sporty warm blood, I definitely recommend them. Some of their coat colors are just downright gorgeous, especially some limited coat colors that are only available during some events. Next up we have another draft breed which is the Pertron. You can buy the Pertrons in Marley. I feel like this is another one of those breeds where on one side it's really hated and then on the other it's really loved. Honestly I really liked the Pertrons before I bought one. They are so square like they have so many sharp angles and i don't really get it i get that the pertrons in real life are also like that but i feel like sso went a bit overboard though i still like them but i i don't know if i'll purchase another one to be honest then we have the irish cob which is also not the most recent addition to the game but i think they're really cute they are such big fluffy drafts you can find them over at Veildale and they come in so many different coat colors you can get the most basic chestnut but then you also have a lot of pintos which i absolutely adore they are so cute and so fluffy they have such thick feathers and such thick mane 
it looks amazing. Then there's also the Fjord, which is a really beloved breed. You can find Fjords in Veldel, which I feel like is a shame. I would definitely prefer if they sold them in Dino Valley, like it would fit so much. The first edition of the Fjords was sold in Dino Valley and I feel like they should just continue the legacy. The Fjords don't have that much of a variety in regards to their coat colors, but they're still so pretty and such a unique looking breed. And even though they were added years ago, a lot of people People still like them a lot. And then there's also the Finn Horse, which is located in Fir Grove. They're definitely not my favorite breed. I do like the coat colors, I just don't like the look of them. They have decent gates and animations, and I guess they're really not that expensive. So if you want to get one, go for it. For 810 star coins, you can get the Connemara. The Connemara was the first Gen 3 horse to be released to the game, but in many aspects, they still hold up. They're sold at Dundal and have pretty basic coat colors, but honestly, I still like them. I'm pretty sure they can also be used for pony champs, so if you don't have a pony and don't really like them that much, the Connemara might just be the perfect choice for you. If you like ponies, you might want to buy a Welsh pony for 800 star coins. They're pretty small but have a slim and toned body and they look like the perfect pony for racing. They're located at Hermit's Farm where they and their predecessors have resided for years. But if you wish to get them, you will need to put in a little bit of work. To get the Welsh pony, you must have reached level 7 and reputation friendly with Hermit. For 750 star coins, you can get the colorful Napstropper, though it is a pretty unpopular breed. I like the coat colors, but even before it was added, there was a lot of criticism. Many people point out their really big hooves, and they do look a bit more cartoony than many other breeds that came later on, but they're still really cheap, and honestly, I do like the coats. If you want to get one, you can find them over at Jorvik Stables. Gotlands are such adorable little ponies. They have the cutest coats. They're pretty small and fluffy. You can find them at South Hoof and I just think they're a perfect pony. I love their coats. You have really basic ones but then there's also some colorful ones and the black one has such a pretty like marking on its head. It looks like the moon. Another horse breed that you can get for the same price is the Jorvik Wormblood. They are located in the Crescent Moon Village and come in eight different coat colors, though they are mirrored, which I honestly really dislike, especially for the Pintos, because I feel like it's really obvious, but at the same time, they still look pretty sporty. I specifically like the liver chestnut coat color, and they might get an update in the future, since Star Civil will probably update the starter model. Then we have the adorable draft breed, the Clydesdales, which are located over in Dundle. I absolutely adore their coats. I think they're so fun, so colorful. Their gates and animations are a little outdated since it's been a while since they've been added to the game, but I still think they look amazing. And I specifically really like the coat color from Star Stable Horses app. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's dark base Sabino and it just looks so elegant, so gorgeous. I love it. And then there's also the Trackner. This horse has also been in the game for quite a while but it has a sporty wormblood look and it feels pretty nostalgic looking at it. The trackners are located over at Golden Leaf Stables and for the most part they have pretty basic coat colors and if you want to have a little more colorful one you're gonna have to go into the Star Civil Horses app where you can get a Bay Pinto which, which looks so pretty but yeah if you're looking for a sporty wormblood for a lower price definitely check out the trackner. If you want to be reminded where Star Shibble is from, why not buy a North Swedish horse for 749 star coins? They're sold at Dundal, but I honestly think it's a shame, and if I had to pick a place, I'd definitely put them in Dino Valley, along with the Fjords. I mean, just look at their thick, fluffy coat colors and their name. We all know they belong there.
Number four is reserved for the lovely Shingodig Pony, which costs 700 star coins. They're located at South Hoof and they fit in pretty well with their coat colors. I feel like it's all like almost pastel colored. They look so cute. I mean, just look at them. They were added a couple of years ago, so their gates are definitely not the best. But if you're looking for a cute companion, you know where to find them. Now we have some magical horses that are not available all throughout the year, but only for special events. Well, with a few exceptions. The best thing about magical horses is that they come with two different coat colors, the magical one and the regular one, so you kind of get a two-in-one deal. Last year, Star Stable lowered all of their prices, so if you're looking for a horse with two coat colors for an even lower price than their usual like breed price, look no further than these magical horses. If you don't have a Jorvik pony yet, what are you doing? They are the classics. The Gen 1 version was the first pony to ever be added to the game and they were extremely popular. After a couple of years, Darcibo made their Gen 3 version and while they're not as popular as Gen 1, as those used to be the literal staples of every home stable, they're still really cute. They have some of the most adorable coats in the game with, with cute little details like hearts and they're also really accessible as they're sold in Fort Pinta, so I really recommend them. In the whole game, there's only one horse you can get for free, and that is the Rune Runner. And believe me, you're gonna work a lot for it. The Rune Runner has the Gen 3 North Swedish horse model. You can't really customize this horse, like you can't change its mane or tail style, but what you can do is you can name it. You get it for free after completing soul riding, which altogether takes you around a hundred real life days. If you have any questions about how exactly to get this horse, make sure to check out the video guide I made about the specific topic where I show you step by step all the things you have to do. The breed is definitely not the best choice and it does leave many people unsatisfied at the end, but if you're bad at saving star coins and don't really buy them otherwise, it still provides you with a free horse. So these are 10 cheapest Gen 3 horse breeds in store stable. How many of them do you already own? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!